Hey everyone, Samantha McLean from Elite Agent Magazine and I'm here with the three guys from Melbourne Real Estate at Arpen 2016. They're all mic'd up and about to go on stage to talk about some of the success factors in their business. First of all, Peter, what's your focus going to be? Um, I'm on vision today, I think. Um, so, you know, just quickly, our vision uh, was to take and, and realise the opportunity to uh, you know, be the number one boutique property management company in Melbourne. So Tim, like in terms of recruitment though, like I remember from our interview, you've yeah. got a pretty interesting recruitment pro process. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, totally. It's it's a strengths-based approach. We, you know, psychometrically test people three or four times. We get the culture fit interviews. You know, that's the number one thing that needs to be ticked off. And um, Stephen, you're talking about growth inside. What are the, some of the things that you'll be talking about? I think we've been lucky in our space because we've been able to grow so rapidly. It came back to a little bit of focus about deciding that we're going to go after this niche market of these apartments in these buildings that are being constructed. Yeah. And then once we sort of thought bigger picture about that, we could then apply strategies to actually being able to create that growth. This time I am excited to introduce Sarah Bell from Link Learn. How are you Sarah? Hi Samantha, very well, thank you. You've just come off stage. What we looked at was the possibility of making your business uber proof. Yeah. So, you know, using technology to enhance your customer service, enhance your value instead of replacing it. So what we want to do is make sure that real estate agents remain relevant in the middle of transaction moving forward so that our business is future-proof, uber-proof and we don't need to worry about the next Uber of real estate. I'm here with two of the most popular speakers from yesterday, the oh. dynamic duo from EVU Group, Maria Thank and Manos Pindakakis. How are you guys? Hey, great, really thanks for having us, Samantha. It's always a pleasure to have you guys. Now, how did yesterday go? It's always about business success equals people success and yeah. we're really focused on that yesterday. It's look after your people, train them really well so they can stay yeah. and um, if your people are, are looked after then your business will thrive. Yeah. I think culture. systems and branding is seriously secondary Second to people. To people. Uh, yeah. people first always. I'm here with Matthew Johnson who has just come Hello. off stage at Arpen 16. Matthew, welcome. Thank you. Great to be here. We've got 70,000 thoughts over a 24 hour period apparently. And you know, a lot of that is not what we're not even conscious of. You know? So I suppose the idea of mindfulness is just being able to, you, we can't do it all the time because our minds are just built that way. You know, we're either rushing to the next meeting or regret, you know, thinking about something in the past. But if we can just slow down every once in a while, and engage with where we're at, how we're feeling, what we're doing, taking a breath, having a stretch, and then re-engaging, you know, we, we can just have more room for creativity, problem solving, and being in the moment. 